So I was on my 4K Fire Stick and I noticed that my storage was running a bit low. Now, as we can see, my device has just over 500 megs of free space. Now, I know lots of you have this problem regularly on your devices where your device is just constantly running out of space. Now, I was gonna do my normal housekeeping uh, on my device, which is something that I do once a month just to make sure that my device is running as smooth as possible. So I thought, why not just show you my exact procedure, what I do on my device. The two main applications I use to firstly show me all of the application cache sizes and the second application to actually clear out all of those junk files. So in this video today, let me show you how you can also maximize the free space on your Fire Stick and really just make your device run as smooth as possible. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get If you're new to the channel started. and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So I'm gonna break this video down into two parts. The first part is going to be how we can quickly delete junk files and just the easiest way how we can reclaim space on our Fire Stick. And towards the end of the video, I'll actually show you more of an advanced process where you can actually uninstall Amazon system updates. So applications like IMDB TV or Amazon Free Time, I'll actually show you a process on how you can remove those from your device. But as that process is a bit more advanced, I'll leave that to the end of this video. So the three applications we're going to use for the first part of the process is the Dangbe Assistant, which will clear out those general junk files, any temporary files, any residual installation files. We're going to use this application called Clean Cache. Now, although it says Clean Cache, as we know on the 4K Fire Stick, due to those permission changes, it's not actually going to clean it for us, but it will show you which of your applications have the largest cache size. And let me just say a big thanks to John, who's one of my viewers, who actually told me about this application. And the last one is going to be Me Explorer. And this will basically allow us to quickly delete any other installation files, for example, in the downloader folder. And all three applications will be on my website, in the tutorials page, in the latest tutorial. Now, before we start the process, let's just go over to settings, go over to My Fire TV, just so we can confirm what we're dealing with in terms of how much space we have available at the moment and we can see how much we can actually reclaim after following this entire process. So right now my device has 421 megs of free space. Let's press the home key. So the first application we're going to use is the Dangbe Assistant. So let's open that up. Now this application works absolutely fine on the 4K Fire Stick. I can press the start button and this should now go through and delete all of those junk files it finds and any other residual application installation files that are on my system. This should now remove all of them for me. That's now all done. And one last thing you can do in this application is if you click on uninstall, this will basically show all the applications installed on your device and it will actually organize them by size order. So here we can quickly see that this application is taking up the largest space on my device. Now this one here, NordVPN, I'm not using that at the moment. I can click on uninstall, click on OK. And just like that, we've now reclaimed that space from an application that I was no longer using. So this is a great way for you to go through all of the applications on your device, organized by size order, and you can then quickly remove any application that you're no longer using. Let's back out of that. Let's now open up the second one. And this will now scan all of the applications on my device and show me which ones have the largest app cache. And the great thing about this application is it doesn't require any kind of mouse toggle to operate. You can do everything with the standard remote control. Say for example, we can see that the screensaver has got nearly 100 meg of cache, uh, Pluto TV's got five meg and so on and so forth. I mean, the reason why mine are quite low on my device is because I've already cleaned these multiple times while testing out the process for this video. So let's say for example, we want to clean the screensaver cache because we can see it's 96 meg in size. I can just press the home key, go to applications, manage this for applications, find screen server in the list, click on that. And I can now click on clear cache. So that's instantly giving me back 100 meg of free space. Let's press the home key. So go through the list on your device, whichever application has the largest app cache, you can then quickly go ahead and clear that. Let's back out of that. And the last thing we're going to do is open up Me Explorer. Now, if you are regularly installing applications from Downloader, then the downloader folder, as well as the file link folder, can really grow very large in size. So what we can do in Me Explorer is just go to the top, 
go to internal storage. Let's find download in the list. Let's click on that. And here you can just see guys, I've got lots and lots of stuff in here. So I can now just go to the top, click on this icon here. This will basically now select all of the contents of that folder. Now I can now click on the delete icon. And we can see that's nearly a gig in size guys. So let's click on confirm. And that's now all cleared out. Now I don't really use filing to my device, but if you have that on your device, that's also another application to check to see have you actually deleted those application installation files. Let's back out of that. Okay, let's now go and check the free space. And if any of you guys are still with me, then if you like this video and leave the comment hashtag storage, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I really appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. And I'll just say that it's not going to be that amazing or dramatic on my device because I've already gone through this process multiple times in preparation of this video. Okay, let's click on about and there we can just see it guys. My device has nearly 1.6 gigs of free space and that entire process only took about two minutes. So you can just make this as a standard process once a fortnight or once a month just to make sure that your device is running as smooth as possible. So that's pretty much it for the basic process. Let me now show you the advanced guide where we can actually uninstall those system Amazon updates. So let's press the home key. So for the advanced process, we're going to use an application called Turtle Commander, but we need to use that in conjunction with the TDUK update blocker because once we uninstall these processes, we need to make sure that Amazon can't push them onto your device again. So let's open that up. So I can use a standard remote control on this. I can go to installed apps. This now shows me all the applications organized by size. So let's say for example, I don't want to use IMDB TV anymore because I don't like the application. I can press and hold the select button on that and go to delete. Do you want to delete IMDB TV? Let's click on yes. And what's happening now is it's now removing any of those installed updates to the application. So I can now click on okay. That's now been removed. If I now press the home key, we can see that IMDB TV now is only eight kilobytes in size. So all of that bloatware, all of the things Amazon push on your device, we can now just with one click uninstall that. So do give a thumbs up for that. So we can see Amazon Music is 54 meg in size and Amazon Photos is about 40 meg in size. So let's press the home key. Uh, let's now press and hold the select button here and click on delete, click on yes. Click on OK. Amazon Music is gone. Let's go down and let's also get Amazon Photos. Press and hold and click on Delete and click on Yes and click on OK. And lastly, let's just do one more Amazon Free Time. So press and hold that. Click on Delete. Click on Yes. Click on OK. That's now all been removed. Let's press the Home key. And just like that, we now have 1.83 gigs of free space on our device. But as mentioned for the advanced process, you do have to use that in conjunction with the TDUK update blocker because unless those Amazon updates are blocked, Amazon would just push all those files, all those updates for those applications onto your device again. So let me open up the update blocker, click on connect. Make sure you always click on always allow, click on OK. Let's now go back in, click on connect, and we are now connected. Just click on block, give that a second. That's now all done. I can press the back button, press the home key. Let's now see if my device has any updates. Click on check for updates. And just like that, we have now blocked Amazon sending us any of that bloatware, any of those application updates to our device. So. That's all for this video guys, many thanks for watching. Lots of you are asking for the easiest way on how we can reclaim some space on our Amazon device. So I hope you did find this video useful. Do leave me a comment below and let me know and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.